If you're freaking frustrated about being stuck at a certain pay level or a certain title, I'm making this video so that you can understand your worth. I was terrified, I was sweating breaking bullets. You're scared because you have a perceived lack of options. And the only cure to having a perceived lack of options is to go. Something I wish I would have known when I was in the corporate world before I became a business owner, an entrepreneur, is titles do not matter at all. If you are in a job right now where you're like working a nine to five, you're like a corporate type of company, there's all this like hierarchical structure and like your job title dictates your pay and all that. All that is actually bullshit when you get on the other side of the table. They're all just ways of kind of like controlling behavior and putting things into place. I think this is coming more and more to the forefront now that information is more readily accessible. And this is the reason that it's kind of tough as a business owner because it is more of an employee's market. Like if you are an employee, you can dictate your terms a little bit more and a lot of businesses I, I work directly with business owners where I'm on the other side of the table helping them plan things helping them hire helping them come up with promotional structures and benefit structures for their employees to help incentivize them and get them to do more and the honest truth is most business owners are going more towards the model where they have a system and a set of processes and then they have contractors around the business that have ability to make commission. Maybe they're on salary or maybe not. Sometimes they are some form of salary, but usually they have a lot more flexibility and ability to make money and they can kind of come and go as they please more so because anyone can go and start their own business like that with like 10 hours of YouTube these days. It's really not that hard. So if you're someone who's an employee right now, one, I'm making this video so that you can understand your worth you are way more than your job title. You're really like, you're worth whatever benefit you can provide to the company. At the end of the day, if you can make your company more money, that's worth paying you more money. Like when, as a business owner, when I'm going to hire someone, when any of my clients are going to hire someone, the only thing they're thinking is, can this person accomplish the thing that I need to bring them on to do? And is that gonna make my business more money? That's literally it. They don't care that you, I mean, they care that you have a certain set of skills, but like at the end of the day, it's literally about whether you can make the business more money. And that's why people will say college degrees matter less. That's a whole other conversation where, you know, I have my own set of opinions on that. I still think a college degree is worth a lot um, for other reasons, but like literally just go find the skills that you need to be whatever like title you want to be promoted to. And figure out how you can make the business more money and come with a real pitch to whoever your boss is, whoever your business owner is about how you can make them more money. And you will have negotiating power to ask for more freaking money or more flexibility or whatever it is. I see so many people get stuck in this trap of thinking that's not possible or that can't be done or, or like they have this limiting mindset around it because they just don't understand that that's actually all that their boss or their manager or their business owner cares about. And if you're lower level and you're, you have like a higher level manager that you've got to go to, they might have a slightly different set of incentives. It might be, they might have some bonus that they get, just figure out whatever they're, whatever they get paid based off of and figure out how you can get them paid more, how you can make them more money and you will get more opportunity. You will move up more or figure out how you can make their job easier and you will get paid more. You will get promoted more. It's literally just about finding the opportunities between the lines and like you might get lucky and someone might come to you and tell you exactly what to do to do it. But most of the time that shit does not come out. It does not come out as a handout. You have to go find that yourself. But if you are willing to, if you're freaking frustrated about being stuck at a certain pay level or a certain title, titles don't freaking matter. But if you're frustrated about being stuck at a certain pay, find the opportunities between the lines of how you can make people's jobs easier or make the business more money and you will have negotiating power. And if you do all of that and you still don't have negotiating power, someone is gonna pay you more money. Like there's someone out there that will pay you more money if you can figure out a way to make their business more money and that's all they care about so you have options and i know you're thinking like you're scared you're scared that like if you try to make any kind of move that it might not work out maybe you like the job security you have right now and to that i would say i get it i've been there 
I'll tell a little story. The last time that I was working a nine to five, way before, uh, not way before, but before I was a business owner, entrepreneur, anything like that, um, you know, I was doing like a little bit of entrepreneurial stuff on the side, uh, doing like some freelance work, um, just kind of some marketing stuff on the side because I, I knew I wanted to be an entrepreneur eventually, but I didn't really like feel like I could do it yet. I didn't really know how to do it. But anyway, I was working a nine to five and this was during COVID and I was working remote. And because I was working remote, I had the flexibility to do this other stuff and I was making extra income and kind of like developing myself as an entrepreneur and giving myself the ability to potentially one day go full time. And eventually my office decided they were gonna bring us all back and have us come into the office because COVID was kind of fading away. And I knew that if I had to do that, I wouldn't still be able to do that side work that I was doing. So I decided I was gonna go in and I was gonna do something really, really bold. I was gonna ask to relocate to somewhere so that I could stay working remote and still make that money, still progress my career the way I wanted to. So I made this whole PowerPoint where I presented this idea of like how we could have this weekly meeting as a team virtually like on our usual meeting where everyone would share things and it would like contribute to the culture and help kind of build things. Cause I knew they were bringing us back cause they wanted to get the benefits of the culture that would come from it. But I was terrified. I was like sweating bullets. I was worried they were going to say no. And I didn't know what that meant. Like if they said no, I didn't know what I was going to need to personally do if I couldn't have that. I knew something would have to change. So I was terrified. I was sweating freaking bullets. I still remember like my voice was cracking. I was like shaking. But I went in, I delivered this like PowerPoint presentation to the HR manager and my direct manager at the time. And luckily like they said, yes, they allowed me to relocate. But it was because I really like gave a lot of value in exchange for what I was asking. But to someone who is in that position where you're like scared to ask for more or you're scared to look elsewhere, I would say, I think you're scared because you have a perceived lack of options. And the only cure to having a perceived lack of options is to go out and find other options. Go do your research, see if there are other people doing something with a similar skill set to what you have that are making more money or have a better situation or have something more similar to what you're looking for. And then also go ask people that are maybe in those similar roles or a recruiter or something like that. See what your options actually are because I almost guarantee you you have better options like there are so many options in the world today there are people that will literally 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 binge like 10 hours of youtube and start making like tens of thousands of dollars like more than they were making before and it's just because they put in the work to build a skill set a skill set you probably already have so go find options give yourself the confidence and stop yourself from being scared by going out and finding some options to put yourself in a better position i just wanted to make this video going over that because it's been on my mind. This type of thing frustrates me a lot. And this is something that I wish I would have known back when I was working a nine to five. And I only know it now because I've been on the other side of the table for years now. And I just understand how we business owners think. And if you can understand how we think, you can get way more as an employee too.